Good evening, Catherine. Uh, four months behind schedule. Atlantis was supposed to lift off back in July. But of course, as we all are aware, hydrogen leaks have plagued the shuttle program all summer long. Now it appears that Atlantis is ready to go. About three hours ago, the astronauts, led by Dick Covey, who was commanding this flight, it's his third um, flight on the space shuttle. He will be the commander for the first the time th on this ready. flight this evening, dressing out in their orange group. flight suits and preparing to head out to the pad to board the shuttle. Again, that was about three hours ago. The crew then left the operations and checkout building, and uh, to the crowd gathered outside there, they uh, waved and cheered and boarded the Astro bus and headed for the five-mile ride out to launch pad 39A, where the shuttle Atlantis is sitting, ready to go. If our calculations are correct, the astronauts got out to the pad about 4 o'clock, usually about 2 hours and 45 minutes after they get into the shuttle is about the time NASA likes to get them off the ground, so that would put launch uh, somewhere around 6.45 p.m. tonight. Right now, the weather, Catherine, is looking very good, much better than everyone had thought it would, uh, it would be. Uh, originally, there was about a 40% chance that they could go tonight because of winds, crosswinds at the landing site should the shuttle have to make an emergency return here. But now it is, weather is about no concern, about 70% chance that they can go tonight. And of course, we will be keeping a close eye in just a few minutes at 6.30, the launch window, launch period opens. It runs from 6.30 till 10.30 p.m. tonight. We'll keep you posted. This is John Zarella reporting live from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We have a go for main engine start, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Atlantis and crew in the classified Department of Defense flight. Houston now controlling. Roll maneuver underway. Maneuver complete, placing Atlantis on the proper heading. All systems performing well. Engines at 104%. Engines throttling down now to help ease aerodynamic loads. Three engines at 72 percent, altitude 13, 14,000 feet, velocity 934 feet per second. Engine startling up now. Altitude 7.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 5 nautical miles. Crew giving a go at throttle up. Engines running now at 104%. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Altitude 11.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 8 nautical miles. Minute 45, altitude 16.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 16 nautical miles, velocity 3,600 feet per second. SRB thrust beginning to tail off, a precursor to solid staging. We have separation confirmed. Standing by for first stage performance call. So in the nighttime sky, you can see the two solid rocket boosters falling away from Atlantis as it begins its secret mission into space to deploy what is believed to be a 22,000-pound satellite, a satellite that some are saying is destined to either photograph or listen in to what is going on in Iraq and Operation Desert Shield. Uh, it's the second secret satellite launch in less than a week's time. Last Monday, a Titan was launched with a secret satellite, and now Atlantis has a secret satellite in its cargo bay. CNN's John Zarella joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, John, the weather was uh, thought to be a problem earlier in the day, uh, while forecasts
had been changing back and forth from 60-40 to 40-60, uh, it appeared the weather was not a constraint. No, not at all. It was uh, absolutely uh, perfect, almost no problem at all uh, at launch time, and that's typical of the, uh, the Florida weather. And as usual, a night launch, absolutely uh, spectacular night launch here, uh, the clear skies. It, you could see it, obviously, for miles and miles. One of the interesting things usually with these secret DODs is the trajectory, the angle that the shuttle is going. And this one went just about straight up. It took forever before it actually uh, got out over the water. Usually on nominal shuttle launches, uh, they move more quickly out to the east. This one was going straight up for quite a long time. So another one of those interesting DOD uh, secret trajectories where it's going in the sky, Tom. Yeah, the 28 and a half degree uh, would indicate one type of satellite and uh, something a little uh, stronger would indicate another. So there's uh, a great deal of observation going on, uh, I'm sure, not only by American scientists, but others try to determine what can't be determined. Uh, right now, uh, of course, we're going into a blackout period and we won't hear anything about the crew. That's so. exactly right. All right, so we will continue uh, to watch this mission. NASA will go into a period of radio silence. They will not report anything about the mission until landing, which is believed to occur in about four days. We, of course, will have the landing live for you here on CNN, and we will have more right after this.